This has been a celebration about our past 50 years, and I'd like to invite um, Dick Freebra up to the uh, podium uh, to make an announcement. Dick. Thank you, Alistair. And this is a very special day indeed. Lincoln Alexander Day, the community launch of the University of Guelph's 50th anniversary, and the premiere of our 50th anniversary video. And to top it off, I'm here to announce that the Board of Governors has just approved the appointment of the next president of the University of Guelph. As many of you know, the Presidential Selection Committee, comprised of students, faculty, staff, alumni, and members of the board has been very active over the course of this last year. We developed the position profile after wide consultation with the U of G community, and we thank you for your interest and input. We knew we had big shoes to fill, or in the case of our amazing and often shoeless president, Alistair Summerlee, <laughs> big footprints to fill. And so we have. Following an international search, that attracted an outstanding slate of candidates, the University of Guelph today has appointed Professor Franco Vaccarino as the university's eighth president and vice chancellor. He will succeed President Summerlee effective August 15th of this year. Professor Vaccarino is currently principal of the University of Toronto Scarborough and a vice president at the U of T, a position he's held since 2007. He has a distinguished academic career and a proven record in organizational leadership. He's a remarkable scholar and educator, as well as an accomplished administrator. He has an entrepreneurial spirit, a powerful sense of community, and a profound commitment to societal engagement. He clearly has what it takes to lead the university in the years to come. Professor Vaccarino helped grow and position the University of Toronto Scarborough as a key intellectual and cultural hub in the Eastern GTA area, drawing faculty and students to specialized areas of study. Among other positions at U of T, he has served as Chair of the Department of Psychology, Graduate Chair of the Tri-Campus Graduate Department of Psychology, and Head of the Department of, the, of Psychiatry's Neuroscience Program. He also served as Executive Vice President Programs and Vice President Research at the Center for Addiction and Mental Health and as Vice President and Director of Research at the Clark Institute, both in Toronto. As we begin our next 50 years, please join me in giving a warm U of Guelph welcome to our next President, Franco Vaccarino. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, um, I was planning for today and I was working through various scenarios in my mind of things that could come up. Um, Professor Mancuso, uh, I, I didn't expect to be dancing to Adele, uh, you know, during the day. My kids will love that story. So. Um, um, thank you, Dick, for, for those very kind remarks, and thank you for your support and leadership throughout uh, the, entire, um, the entire process of the, uh, of the search. I want to, I'd like to also thank the board members of the Presidential Selection, uh, the members of the Presidential Selection Committee and the Board of Governors for giving me this um, exciting opportunity and challenge. Um, and I'd also like to thank everyone here today for allowing me, really, uh, to what feels like crash uh, your celebration. Um, I, I, um, I have to say that Rick Mercer's uh, anniversary, 50th anniversary video tribute really did uh, catch my attention, and especially the line when he says, uh, and believe me, the University of Guelph knows how to party. So that was really the tipping point for me. I said, well, I'm, I'm going to show up today. Um, so after watching the video, I had to see it for myself, and sure enough, there we were dancing. So it was, it's, uh, it's wonderful to be here. I am uh, absolutely honored to be here uh, at this important celebration. You've given me such a uh, warm welcome, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to say just a few words. 
I absolutely loved the 50th anniversary video and was particularly moved by Dr. Weingard's comment, you don't know where you're going if you don't know where you've been, and this institution knows where it's been. This is so true about people and our own personal lives, and it's so true about institutions. And it's, um, it's a line uh, that has really stuck with me, and that, my friends, is abundantly clear here at the University of Guelph. And I have to say I'm absolutely privileged, humbled, and honored uh, to be uh, given the trust uh, that you've given me uh, for the future of this great, uh, to be part of the future of this great university, and to be here with you celebrating this important milestone. Uh, the 50th anniversary is about looking to a bright and vibrant future while also celebrating and acknowledging the great achievements of our past. And I don't need to tell the group here, but from the three founding legacy organizations to the world-renowned comprehensive university that the University of Guelph has become today, there is so much to celebrate. Now, I do believe that a proud history doesn't just happen by chance. It's a function of the environment that's established, an environment that, that allows people to thrive. And that environment has so clearly been established here through the hard work and vision of leaders uh, that came before us, including the great Lincoln Alexander um, that we're recognizing today. I find it so fitting that as we look to the next 50 years, we should, we should honor his amazing legacy. And as part of the University of Guelph family, and as we celebrate this 50th anniversary and look ahead to an exciting future, let us seek inspiration from the successes of our past. Now, I would like to reiterate something that I've, I've shared with the Board of Governors meeting uh, earlier today, something that I've been hearing consistently, and that I, I have to say I'm already experiencing firsthand, and that is, the exceptional caliber and commitment of the faculty, the staff, uh, and students of the University of Guelph. Uh, you know, I, I recently had the opportunity to meet with President uh, Summerlee, and he, he re-emphasized what I had heard from so many others, that there's a passion, a pride, and a professionalism at this university that really is unparalleled. Um, I personally look, very much look forward to working with Guelph's outstanding faculty, the staff, students, and board members and alumni as well as, uh, I have to say, an absolutely amazing administrative and leadership team. And uh, just during the lead up to this day, uh, the, the, the team here has been absolutely terrific, and I want to say thank you. Um, you've heard the, 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 the comment about big shoes uh, to fill. Um, and I haven't yet, actually, Alistair, I haven't seen you uh, walk in without your shoes, so I'm going to stick to the shoes for now. Uh, I know I have big shoes to fill. And I know that I can count on President Summerlee for support and advice as we move forward. And I would just like to say publicly that, Alistair, your graciousness and thoughtfulness during this transition has meant an enormous amount to me, and I, I'm deeply appreciative. Um, Alistair and I have talked about setting up uh, some visits for me before I begin my term, and as I, I look forward uh, to those opportunities uh, to get to know you better and to give you a chance also to get to know me. So thank you again for this very, very warm welcome. My wife, Cosmina, and I, and our, uh, our daughters, Oriana and Alicia, who uh, look forward uh, to, to, to this change as well, are excited and energized about moving uh, to Guelph in August and becoming a part of this wonderful community. So thank you, and uh, we'll get back to cutting the cake and uh, the celebration. Thank you very much.